Steve is here now with an update on our forecast. Steve. Erica and Rob, the reason why it is so foggy outside and raining is because of a warm front pushing this way. And that's good news because all the freezing weather has ended for us. And those places where you just saw the icy conditions have improved as well. I'll show you where they've got some icy conditions for tonight and tomorrow. But as far as we are concerned, not much to look at is the way that weather watchers are sort of describing the weather. It's been uh, at its worst south of the city. Here's Cheryl and Mike. They are in Rensselaer. Pretty dense fog out. Uh, dew point at 37. Humidity at 99%. We'll, uh, we'll stop in Kankakee, another one of those places where fog has been an issue. Uh, getting thick air, visibility dropping fast. And that's where the uh, dense fog advisory is in effect until midnight tonight. Essentially trying to drive south and through northwest Indiana. Kankakee, if you're going south toward Will, you'll find the same kind of weather concerns. Let's go up here and see what Elton has to say. He's in Schaumburg where it's 34 degrees, raining all day, visibility less than a mile. So you can go some areas uh, across the western suburbs and up north too when you'll find fog. So let's take a look at them. We'll try to pinpoint some of these locations. You can see the zero over Valparaiso. You can look up north, north of where Elton is up in Waukegan. Zero to one mile of visibility. It has improved somewhat around O'Hare, out toward McHenry, but when they're all less than five miles, it means that here and there you're going to run into some pretty dense fog and that's widespread. What about these temperatures? Thing you're going to notice instead of the temperatures dropping like they usually do, the later it gets, they will rise and that continues to be better news for us in terms of freezing rain and whatever falls from the sky will be all rain. Look at these temperatures up into the mid 40s after 1 a.m. Here's 44 degrees at 3 o'clock in the morning, 41 at 5 a.m. That's in the city. We'll see what happens up north and we'll go up around McHenry. Your temperature is staying pretty steady around 35, 36 degrees, but we still can't uh, rule out rumble of thunder. Isolated thunderstorms are possible as this push of warm weather comes this way and the low that's centered with it all is to the west of us and it'll be sliding overhead over the next 24 hours. A couple of lightning strikes now north of Peoria. LaSalle County may get in on some of those thunder showers as they move this way. And you heard about those stories about uh, Kansas and Oklahoma. That warm air has moved in those places and look now where the pre freezing precip is. It's up across Omaha toward uh, Minneapolis, northern parts of Wisconsin, Michigan and across to New York and up upstate New York and parts of New England. So a lot of places recovering, but we're still not through with that storm yet. And for us overnight tonight, you may uh, wake up to a rumble of thunder at 1, 1 in the morning. There's that um, another push of wet weather as it finally in sometime around 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow. So how much rain do we get out of this? Perhaps an additional inch of rain possible across the western suburbs, especially where you get in on one of these downpours from a thunderstorm. So with all that in mind, how mild will it stay this week? Pretty much all week long we'll have temperatures above what's normal for this time of year. Mid 40s through much of uh, the week, 50 degrees on Saturday. Uh, the two best days of the week figure to be Wednesday and Thursday with sunshine, but it's going to feel good. Oh, that's great. That was a washout today, though, wasn't <laughs> it? It was. Man. All day. All right. Thanks, Steve.